asking you for evidence now, holding you to your criteria. Men are fallible. Men brought the Quran to us. You have not never met the Prophet in your life. Neither have I, right? Uh, so the men that brought you the Quran are also the men who brought you the Hadith. If they are fallible and they will make a mistake in the Hadith, they can be fallible and make a mistake in the Quran. Right. So now this is a consistent argument, consistent criteria. Yeah, you've got uh, it doesn't thing. matter, you yeah. know. Anyways, okay. I just want to ask you something, yeah? yeah. Uh, do you consider yourself a hadith ejector? No, no. Like I've been saying to the guys. Yes, I want I, to know your position okay, here, fine. first. I do not, I, okay, I am not a hadith rejecter. Right. I'm not a sunnah rejecter. As long as those hadiths and those practices or the sunnah are in agreement with the Quran. Correct. You see, I'm finishing your statement. Do you know why? Your statement is rendered useless. Can I tell you why? If I say I only accept a hadith if it's in a, if it's an agreement with the Quran, I don't need the hadith because the Quran is there. Okay. So any hadith that agrees with the Quran is not really helpful in any way, shape, or form. If the Quran is already there, I don't it need. It is. I'll, I'll so, let you so, finish. But so, I so I'll tell you how is that statement is useless to say that I I accept the hadith that is, is agreement with the Quran is useless for me, right? It's, it's another way. It's a twisted way of saying I reject hadith, right? Do you accept a hadith? No, but can I go are, to that point before you change your point? No, no, it's the same point. It's no, the no, same no. point. I, I, I want to address this. Let and me then finish, you can move finish on. the question. It's Fine. the same point. I'm saying, do you accept a hadith which are not in agreement or disagreement with the Quran? Do you see this point? Do you accept a hadith? Yeah. Don't worry, I'll, I'll repeat again. Yeah. Do you accept a hadith which yeah. are not agreement or in disagreement with the Quran? So it's just been added. No, no, not been added. Right. It's neutral, right? You have certain you have certain statements of the Prophet right. that does not necessarily contradict. Right? Or in line with the Quranic verses, right? You have a hadith like that. Yeah. Do you accept that type of a hadith or not? Right? Okay. Or or do you only accept, as you said, the ones that are in agreement with the Quran? Now you can Okay, so going back to your original point, like I said, I don't wanna it's the same point. skip what you said. Yeah, that's fine. Where you're saying uh, where it, my, my statement is rendered useless, where we if we if there are hadith that I don't need, that there's not Saying the same thing as the Quran. No, no, I'm saying if the That's hadith. Useless, I didn't, wait, wait, do you understand okay. my, my, my point? I'm yes, saying if you, the hadith. you carried on, I, I, was, I kept listening to you and I forgot your original point. Go, I repeat so, it for you. Right. I'm saying if the hadith yeah. is the saying the same thing as the Quran, right. then I don't need the hadith because the Quran uh, is there already telling okay, me the let's point. Pause there. Right. Let's pause there. Okay, right. yeah. So let's say this brother is uh, a Christian. Okay. Or he's no religion, he's, he's an atheist and he has no idea. Then he reads something, one day he opens a book and then it's a Quran, and to him it's nothing, it's just a book. He doesn't believe, he doesn't believe in God. That's fine, and he reads something in the Baqarah, it talks about the cow when Moses came down from the mountain, and the people of the, the, the Bani Israel, they said, we need proof that you are from Allah, show us what kind of cow it is. And he had to explain the cow. He didn't say, show so, us proof that, that you are from Allah. They, they needed proof, that they, only, that's the only no, way they sacrificed. They didn't ask for proof. Uh, I, I, think you're, they sacrifice, I think you're right? talking about the verse without understanding no, the verse. What I'm trying to say. Do, so, do you remember the verse? Let, let, let me just kind of give you the point. Okay, then I will come back. But, but before you make claims about the Quran, you need to yeah. be accurate, you know? Yeah. If you're claiming the Quran, I've said something, you have to be accurate yeah. there. I'm telling you the Quran doesn't say what you said. The, Musa said the, to his in people... The, in the, well, in Baqarah, I'm I, talking I, about Baqarah. Yes, no, I, I'm not sure exactly I'll give you, I'll give you the Quran. beginning now. Yeah. When, Musa, when Moses told these people, I'll give you the context, I'll give you everything, don't yeah. worry. No, but when Moses, going back to the point, no, because I, you need, I need to make this point okay. Okay. So retract, this point. retract the other statement the and then we can move on. Right, the point was, if I... If, if, if there is a hadith or if there is a teaching that tries to teach this brother, sorry, I'm not using it as an example, I, I'm just trying to explain something. Mm. If that hadith explains this verse to this brother and that makes that brother on to, closer to the Salat al Mustaqim, what's wrong with that hadith? There is nothing, in fact, it is light and guidance. And actually, what Allah says in the Quran, do righteous deeds, righteousness. What is righteousness? It's making someone, helping them go on to Sirat al But you're not getting my point, my brother. No, but if, you're saying it's useless, it's not useless. You're not getting the point. I'm saying your statement is useless, not the hadith is useless. I'm saying if you say the hadith is already telling me the same thing the Quran is telling me, why do I need the hadith if the Quran is already there? If it explains. I'll give you an example. If, it explains, if, the, if the Quran is saying in chapter 112, yeah. Say Allah is uniquely one. And I have a hadith of the Prophet ﷺ when he said Allah is one. He doesn't have he doesn't have another, for example, he doesn't have a second. For example, that hadith to me, I don't need it because the Quran is there already. So right. when you say to me, I accept hadith that are in line with the Quran, yeah. in essence, you're saying I don't accept hadith, I only accept the Quran because they are in line with the Quran. That's no, my no, criteria. No, 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 you've misunderstood. 
the reason why I say I reject that some hadith is because men are infallible. Uh, men are fallible. Okay. We write things with our own hands. Was the Prophet fallible? fallible? Sorry? Was the Prophet fallible? No, he's uh, Rasulullah. So he's not fallible? He is not fallible. Okay. The Rasul is not fallible. So, and hold on. The reason why we have to be uh, cautious of things that we read is because A, because of politics and B, because of the greed of men. We don't know. We don't, none of us here Can know I understand your argument? Where? Go on. Your argument is, I reject some hadith because men are fallible, correct? Am I representing part, you correctly? Part of what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. That's not exactly Am I representing right. you correctly? Yeah. Right? Yes, yeah. Okay. Why do you accept the Quran? Men are fallible. Why do I? Why do you accept the Quran? You need to stop laughing. Is it, this is we're talking about. Okay, Allah. Just, you cannot, don't be worried. Don't yeah. be worried about what okay, people fine, are, are fine, doing. Fine. Be worried about yourself, right? right. I'm not laughing. Am I? No. I'm just asking you a question. Right. If if hadith, as you said, you reject some of it because men are fallible. Yeah. I'm now holding you to your own criteria. Be consistent. Yeah. Why do you not reject a part of the Quran? Why do you want to reject the Quran? No, a part of the Quran because men are fallible. Maybe there is a mistake there as well. No, because this is divine revelation. How do you know? that Allah tells us. how do you know Allah told you this men that brought you the scripture right. are the only reason you think Allah told you anything because nothing has been added into the Quran how do you know I have faith you have faith yeah so now you're saying I have so now you have you have blind faith no no, no the Quran. Blind. it's not blind so here's the evidence okay there's the evidence apart Please. from the Quran where else does it say believe only in God and, and what God is revealed it says it in the Torah it says it in Zahur when How's King that related to what we're saying? Because the talking about preservation of the Quran now. You said to me you believe in the preservation yes, of the Quran. If you believe Can you give me evidences Allah. for you as yourself? What's your name? Yeah, Dawan. Dawan? Dawan. So Dawan, I'm asking you for evidence now, yeah. holding you to your criteria. Men al fallible. Men brought the Quran to us. You have not never met the Prophet in your life, neither have I, right? Uh, so the men that brought you the Quran are also the men who brought you the hadith. If they are fallible and they will make a mistake in the hadith, they can be fallible and make a mistake in the Quran. Right. So now this is a consistent argument, consistent criteria. Now please enlighten me. On what basis do you accept that the, that the Quran is preserved? Okay, so you made an assumption, which is an assumption only. Tell me what's your assumption. It is not a fact where you're saying is, the same men that brought us the hadith are the same men that who brought the Quran. Quran. Who brought you the Quran? Let me finish because I, I, I was respectful. Because you're talking about the finish. assumption. Go ahead. Yes, you made an assumption. I'm disagreeing. It's only an assumption. Okay. Because back then, we're talking 1400 years ago. Okay. There were no computers. There was no point of fact evidence. Sure. The only thing we have mm -hmm. is the most plausible uh, route, right? If it's the most Which plausible, what? that's it. Which is what? Which is narration. I deal with passed down from generation. Do so you accept narration now? Well, that's the only thing. There is nothing else. Okay. Unless there's an alien who well, decided to have a. Uh, can you tell me? One, one chain of Quranic transmission. Chain? What yeah. do you mean? That, that narration you're no, talking about, I, it's called a chain of transmission, yeah? Right. Where you have men in the chain narrating from one another yeah. to us, yeah? Okay. Now, you don't know any chain of, of narration. Yeah, I, what, what, I know what, that. What, Leave now. I don't please don't use terms you don't understand. Please. No, I I don't understand. I know. I'm trying to I know. See if that's I the, understand. Yeah. But I'm not talking about mutawatir. Yeah. I'm telling you right now. There's a transmission and there is a chain. There is a man in the chain. Correct. You do not know a single chain of narration right. of the of the Quranic uh, uh, revelation. Right? right. These narrations, the men in the narration, are the same men who are transmitting the hadith. So it's not an assumption. It is a fact that the same people who brought to you the Quran are the same people who brought to you the hadith. Now. Repeating my question again, yeah. on what basis do you accept the Quran even though it's coming from the same source and you reject a part of the hadith claiming that men are fallible but not applying your consistent criteria with the Quran? I'll tell you something, I'll, I'll be nice with you. Look. The end of hadith rejection is Quran rejection. That's how things work. No one can no, be in his right else mind. Mentioned this as well. No, Let no, me respond. I'm giving you making, evidence now. You're making multiple points, and when I'm thinking about which the which one, I made making, my one point. No, 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 you're making multiple things that which I ones? want to agree with, but you keep changing your point, and I, 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 I want to address them. The one but point. You keep changing. And I'm respectful. I let you talk. Address only one yeah. point, which is I'm dealing with, which is right. that the people who brought you the Quran, the same people who brought you the Hadith, you reject them based on no, the men are It's the same point we've been I, discussing I for a while now. I'll, There's I'll, no I'll, other point. Okay, I'll go back to what I said. It, ah. is, it is an assumption you are making. I give not, you evidence. Not just you, not just you, but our forefathers. The religion of our forefathers tells us no assumptions. That, the, that the narrations that you're saying, because I have no uh, knowledge of the science of, the science of, of, of hadith. It's true. Why? Because what's important, Allah says, I have not left anything out of the Quran. As in, Where did Allah say that? When it's a complete book. This is a complete no, no, book. no, you said, Allah said, yeah. I have not left anything except the Quran. 
No, outside of it. As in nothing. Out, he okay, left I have not left anything outside the Quran. You can't quote me word for word. No, bro. If you say Allah you said, me word for bro, bro. Because I'm not here. I'll tell you something. I don't have. Ever, I don't have. Do you know you're report. getting? You, I don't have a report. Bro, bro. I'll tell you something, something important now. You're yeah. getting angry because I'm I'm quoting you word for word, right? Yeah. Imagine you quoting Allah Azza wa Jal wrongly. Yeah. How would Allah be be okay with that? Now, if you're quoting Allah Azza wa Jal, I have with the same standard. To to this brother, no, but my brother, way, so my brother, my brother, my brother, this is the second time. This is the second time I correct you regarding Quranic verses. The first was about Musa. You made a wrong claim about what, what it's happened not wrong there. At all. No, no, no. The people, when Musa was on the mountain, okay. the people asked him for evidence to say to show that Allah. It was actually in, the, uh, community in, in, in that they wanted to know the cow. You know when they were asking for what type of cow this is? No, no, is this not no, 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 you said is this they did ask what type of cow it is, right. but you didn't say that. Go back, it's on camera. But look, but look, I'll tell you the thing about camera. People cannot run away and escape their points. Yeah, you made what the point. What do you point. think I said? Uh, uh, you will okay. see on camera what you said. No, you no, said, I said the same thing. Can I repeat? I'm, I'm can I repeat? Yeah. Okay. You said that they were asking Musa when he came from the mountain, Musa alayhi salam. You said they were asking him for evidence, right? They were not asking him for any evidence. The story goes as Musa alayhi salam is the one who's telling his people. Musa alayhi salam, in the beginning of the scripture, he goes, وَإِذْ قَالَ مُوسَى لِقَوْمِهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَأْمُرُكُمْ أَنْ تَذْبَحُوا بَقَرًا Allah is saying, when Musa said to his people, Allah commands you to slaughter a cow. Yes. Then they said, are make you taking... Yeah. Uh, yeah. So there was no evidence he's coming down, they're asking for evidence. It was Musa alayhi salam giving them a command right. and then they were inquisitive and inqui inquiring what type of cow it is. Now, right. So that's the first mistake you did. Second mistake but is... why is that important? As it, it's it's important because message. it's the Quran. No, bro, I want to quote message. it properly. You're, you're, it's not the same message. You're, you're stepping above, but it's the same message. No, it's, I, not. I, it's not incorrect. What I said it is it's not incorrect. incorrect. It is. Because, because they wanted to be sure. No, my brother. Right, the people needed to be sure. Brother, let's not let's not go around ourselves. You said he yeah. came from the mountain. They were asking him for evidence. That's how you're saying the story goes. Allah Azza wa Jal is saying it didn't go this way. Therefore, it's a mistake. I'm saying if you quote Allah, okay. if you quote the Quran, yeah. which you claim that to hold on to, yeah. at least quote it properly. That's the only thing I'm asking you to do. Yeah, but the way if you don't saying, know, if you don't know, if you don't know, open what, the Quran. What you're saying? Read. The way you're saying read, it, read the, the way Quran. you're saying it is yeah. if I said something completely different. If this is blue and I said it's red, you did. You did. This is not red. You did. I did not say this is red. You did say something different. No, no, no. It's the you same did. thing. No. Like they wanted to be sure, make it clear to us okay. what kind of cow it is. If I come to so you, so then he started to make clear. Sure. Now, why? Okay, before, no, 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 no. You made a, you made a claim. Let me just. You're not, you're not letting me speak, and I'm trying to I make it clear you to you. I am letting you, need, you speak. No, no. I sat down. Mm. No, I sat down. I stood, respectfully listening to you, and I was trying to think about the points you were making as well. You speak and you're not silent. If Allah brings down a book through a messenger, through a rasul, mm. this book is for humanity. Why to bring us out of darkness? As in, I'm not, don't quote me word for word. Think about it. Use your reason as Allah instructs in the book. Use your reason, use your intellect. If we are in darkness about something, mm. Allah sends this book to bring us out of darkness. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's in the Quran. I agree with it. Good. Yeah. Now, why is the Quran not enough? Not now, just the Quran, but we got, for example, Zabur, we've got the Injil and the Torah. Why is that not enough? Okay, now the answer apart from the fact that it might have been changed because some other brother said because it says those who no, no, I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. To them, but something about, about people who reject hadith, right? They, they, they try to play around the point, right? I will easily 100% answer your question, which you you saying, why is it not enough? When you answer the question that you avoided, on what basis of your criteria do you reject some hadith claiming that men are infallible or fallible, sorry, and, and you accept the Quran even though it's also by men, even if it's not the same men, because you're holding on to that point, I'll give you that point. Let's not say it's the same men. Let's say it's also coming from men, our men are fallible. That's yeah. your criteria. On what basis do you accept something which came from fallible men and you reject something else on the same basis that is com coming from fallible no, men? No, okay. Then I will answer your question gladly. I, again, I think you're trying to, you're misquoting or you've misunderstood me. What I'm trying to say is, hmm? if a certain hadith, or if I'm explaining something, so a hadith is, a, 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 is an explanation, right? It's trying to teach us wisdom, hikmah, or as, as some of the other brothers were trying to allude to. It's, it's something that's trying to um, teach us something apparently that we didn't know already, right? So, if I am trying to teach somebody who is not learned, somebody who does not know the way, and I have learned it from the Quran, and I'm teaching that person in a form of a hadith, what I have learned from the Quran, that is is a pure hadith that is because I'm not doing anything different. I'm not doing word for word, so, but I'm it's like teaching uh, physics first time to a year seven who has no idea what physics is. You are introducing them to it, but the ultimate aim is for them to be on the right path. Okay. That thought that is not bad, but when you start doing things that have nothing to do with the Salat al Mustaqim, what's the point? Like you go back to you, it's, there's no point. Okay, yeah. you haven't answered my question. So, 
again, so not, not asking you to go around the point. You've told me that, oh, the hadith is an explanation of the wisdom, something that elaborates on the Quran. It's not related to ayahs. My question was, yeah. on what basis you accept something? Oh, look, I'm making it clear. This is the fourth time. I know you don't have an answer. We can move on. If you say, no, I don't have an answer. Listen. So, you're choosing so what is the answer you're giving me? Yeah, tell me. On what basis do you accept the Quran is preserved? Even though it's coming from men which are fallible. So, okay, to, to your, the question you ask me, how do I know the Quran is definitely preserved? No, I'm saying you reject the hadith. No, but based, you just said, on what basis do I... Re just let me finish the statement, right? Yeah. You said you reject the hadith based yeah. that men are fallible. Yes. That, that was your reasoning, right? Men are fallible. I said to you, be consistent. You have to also reject the Quran or a part of the Quran, like you reject a part of the hadith, because men are fallible and men brought it to you. Now, again, asking the question, on what basis do you reject one and accept the other? That's my question. When, okay, Quran no answer, as right? divine, no, there is an answer. Tell me. You're, you're, you're rushing. I'm not rushing. Okay, I'm because what you're saying is, I give have me to the answer. I, what you're saying is, I have to choose one or the other or not choose any of them. Yes. When originally, I am saying that, actually. Originally, yes. I am be, saying that, yes. Originally, there should be no choice. Originally, it says, That's in your the Quran, opinion. there is only divine revelation. That there is, is the only. Where does it say that? No, what I'm trying to teach you, sir. The, the, the Quran teaches teach me. Where does it say in the Quran? Where does it say in the Quran? Well, when it says only there is only divine revelation. No, you said the Quran says there is only divine revelation. No, where does the, it say the that? The Quran teaches divine revelation. When it talks about the Quran, Brother, when it you, talks about the. Sorry, again, I told you, quote the Quran properly, yeah? Because I'm not going to let you just no, I, I quote the Quran, here to talk yeah? To Everybody put these cameras on. No, Nobody say, asked my permission to be recorded. You, you say. You say I, I, I don't know why You were happy speaking with the other brothers. I don't know what happened now. I've been talking for two hours. That's fine. I've been labeled with things that I'm not. Okay. I am not. Rejected. Did, not. did I ask you in the beginning, did I ask you, are you, or did I label you? No, you did not. Okay, so let's not talk about other people. Did. Let's talk sure. about what okay. I did. You have as a conversation with me. Clear, okay, let's come back. That sure, let's come back to my discussion. Right. Clearly, you don't have an answer, so I'll, I'll make it easy for you. I'll let it go. I'll let this point go. Now, let me ask a question now. Rama, I answered that. You're uh, not choosing I'll let the viewers. I'll let the viewers decide. Okay, now let me ask this question now. Right. Do you believe there is any revelation? Because there is, you said the Quran is the only revelation. That's why you just said. Do you believe? No, 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 I, I said there's four so revelation which Quran. Talks no, no, leave the other books. I'm not talking about the other books. Why are you leaving? I'll tell you. I'll explain to you. Because we're discussing hadith now. We're not talking about the previous scriptures. I'm saying, do you believe the Prophet Muhammad? Leave now the other prophets, yeah? Do you believe the Prophet Muhammad received any other revelation other than the Quran? Or do you believe, as you said to me, the hadith was an explanation that the Prophet ﷺ was given, he looked at the hadith, right? And he was explaining the hadith as, as he thought his wisdom, right? Do you believe there was revelation the, on the Prophet ﷺ other than the Quran? We, must, we believe, we believe, yeah? Ahl Sunnah, Ahl Sunnah believe. At the same time as, as the Quran was being revealed, is that what you mean? Yes, Ahl Sunnah, yes. Ahl Sunnah believe right. that there is Two types of revelation. One is the Quran yeah. and one is the Hadith. That's what we believe. I'm asking you right now. Do you believe there is other revelation other than the Quran? At that time, no. So you don't, you believe there was no at other revelation? At that time, the only divine At that time, I'm asking at that time. So we're not talking about before the Prophet. At the we're time of the Prophet. Time, time, time of the Prophet, yes. The only thing that was revealed to the Prophet was the Quran. And through the angel Gabriel. Okay, okay. Right. Was there any rev other revelation revealed on the Prophet until he died or only the Quran? As far as I'm aware, I've read the Quran four times. I, I read it very, very regularly. Doesn't look like it, but yeah. I, I read it very regularly. Okay. You can make derogatory comments. This no, it's fine. the truth. And That's what I'm got, seeing. We've got a laugh in the back. It's what I'm seeing from you, but go ahead. No, I don't believe that there is other than the Quran. Okay. There is the wisdom. Okay. But the wisdom is only taught by Allah. This okay. is gifted by Allah. Okay. Just the way it's gifted to the, the Prophet. Okay. When so it was gifted, it was gifted by Allah. Men cannot But it's not a revelation. Sorry? It's not a revelation, no, you have to follow it. Of the okay, so it's the prophet understanding. Right. Okay, now you just dig, you just dig yourself a hole, I'll tell you why. No, you see... I'll tell you why. Statements, let me tell you why. Brother, these statements, you cannot you make these statements because... I they can. Are, I've just did. No, no, no. But let me, let me just tell you why. the argument in a way it's sure. not meant to be. You can tell me, oh, it's not a hole after I show you the hole, right? Okay, now let's talk about the hole. Now you said to me... I didn't realize we were in a circus. I really didn't. Uh, okay, I, sure. I, I if you think... Do you... Have you... How many times... How many times have I laughed since our conversation? It's not about you, no, it's no. about the people Okay, that then you're concerned you. about other people, because man. I, am on I don't my know own. these people, man. I, am on I never my met own. them in my life. You are with so the cameras. Like, no, I never, I never met these people in my life. You met them the first time. You met me the first time. I'm not the one with all the... Okay, let's just come back to the hole. Let's just come back to the hole. Let's come back to the hole. Let's go back to your hole. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back to the hole. Now, the Quran says that Allah Azza wa Jal commanded the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Salam, right? There was a previous command to the people to direct themselves to Masjid Al-Masjid al aqsa in the Quran. Now that command does not exist in the Quran. Okay. Yeah? There's a previous command before Allah tells now 
turn your face into, into uh, Mecca, there was a previous command to face Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa. That previous command does not exist in the Quran. So my question to you, did the Prophet ﷺ made it up? Did the Prophet tell the people, you know what? Guys, you should do a face Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa. And then, right. and then Allah Azza wa tells them, no, 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 change to, to Mecca. Or, they, or was there another revelation? Huh? Let me Hold just finish the question. There is a verse that says, Allah says, if you turn your just, faces to the east and the west, you, Allah... I'll give says, you the reference. I'll, right? I'll, I'll, I don't like to go around. I'll give you the right? exact reference of what I'm talking about. Chapter 2 of the Quran, starting from 100, 142. So, I'll just give you now the context. And let's see. You have your Quran with you or no? Uh, my phone, yeah. Yeah, hey, get your Quran. Maybe you have your Quran, Quran isn't it? Okay. All right, so... What chapter? Verse? Surah Baqarah, verse 142, starting from 142. Let's read what the Quran says. Has you read it four times? We can see. I don't know. You missed this. This is not fair. Just, just. You need, no, you need to be on a level playing field with me. You, sure. know? you can't raise yourself above by making. I'm not raising myself silly above. Silly comments. I'm not raising okay, myself you know, above. Dig a hole and stuff. Can, it's not about holes. Can it's we read? Facts. Can, can we read? Fact? I'm that's telling you, 143. Let's talk about the facts yeah. now. Read 143. 143? 143, read it. Right. He's taking it personally, that's right. And so we made you a moderate nation, that you may be witness over the over humanity, and that the messenger may be a witness over you. And we only establish the and we only establish the direction of prayer which you once followed, that we may distinguish those who follow the messenger from those who turn on their heels. Can I stop here? Right. We once fought, made Allah is saying he made a previous direction to a qibla. He made it. وَمَا جَعَلْنَا الْقِبْلَةَ الَّتِي كُنْتَ عَلَيْهَا they, Allah made a previous direction of prayer. Now you in the next quds, verse... Right? You said quds before. Sorry? You, you talked about quds. Um, um, we believe, we believe but from our hadith. Here. It's not in there. Okay, we believe, so we believe from the hadith. We don't take right. the Quran alone. I didn't right. say the Quran mentions the quds. I said right. the Quran mentions the previous qibla. So okay. let's deal with that again, point. It's an assumption. Uh, no, no, let's deal with the point. Let's deal with the point now. Right. So can you answer me where is that previous command of, of the qibla? In the Quran. By the way, that's the first question I'm asking you. There's many other questions. That's the first question. Now. Well, God is telling you. When are you saying where is the command? This God says turn towards the qibla. No, it's the next verse. I'm saying the first qibla, which is this. That Allah said we have made the first qibla as a test. Right. Where is the command of the first qibla? In the Quran. In the only revelation. Sorry, let me repeat it. In the only revelation, where is the right. command? The previous command of the qibla. I have not found it yet. I've not found it. Yet. I'm not saying I know everything. You're speaking as if I know, I know Alhamdulillah, everything. I, I know right. the full Quran and it's not there. Now, if you're but claiming you're, is there, no, 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 my no, brother, no. if you're claiming is there, saying, if you're claiming is there, you saying, can bring it. You're saying the previous Qibla was Quds. Leave Quds now. No, they no, say, no, but you made this point. Right? You're saying I point retra you, look, you know what? I retra retract the point. Right. I'm easily, I retract the point. You right. claiming I say Quds, I'm retracting the point. Now, let's deal with the point. Let's not run away because I know you like to run away. Now, please tell me which, which is the previous Qibla. You love these Qibla. Why is the previous Qibla? Where is the previous Qibla? Yeah. Where is the previous Qibla mentioned in the Quran? Yeah, Allah said we commanded you before to follow a Qibla right. in the past. Okay. Allah, we said we made a previous command. That command is not the Quran. So where did that command come from? Did the Prophet make it up? What is Allah talking about here then? Or there is another wahid. Or there is another revelation. Yeah. Again, I can't say that I know. No, 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 we're not done by the way. We're not okay, done. All right. Okay. okay. We're not. It's the first question, yeah? That's the first question. But where does it say to find this information, go to a hadith or go to a sunnah or go somewhere else? Where does it say that? Again, I didn't say that. Again, I didn't say okay, that. So you are making an assumption. Allah, Allah, Just, no. no, we've already brother, talked about this. No, we've already talked brother, about this. You're like two hours don't, late. You don't digress to him. I'll speak to me. Yeah, I know, but I've got I'm, saying, whole, yeah? I'm saying to you right now, I'm, say, I'm not concerned with what they say. Okay. You know? I'm saying to you right now, Right. I'm not said this is this is a hadith or this is this or that. I never made any claims. I asked you. I asked you a question. Okay. We believe there is another revelation. That's that was my point. I'm saying this gives you clear cut evidence that there is other revelation other than the Quran. What is the other revelation? We can discuss. No, it's not clear cut. You're so, saying okay. this is clear so cut. So answer me. By making the assumption. So answer me. Where is the assumption previous assumption command? Assumption is not clear cut. So where is the previous assumption command? Assumption is not evidence. So where is the previous command? Yes, but you're saying it's clear cut. It's not clear cut. This is an assumption. You're it's making. not clear cut. Tell me where is the exactly. previous command? It's not clear cut. Not According to you, I don't agree, but where is the previous command? Is the Quran only a, talking about a physical body and a physical presence in this, in this, in this life? I'll answer that. You, you kind of torpedoed me with this. Let me talk about this. So, um, okay, I'm going to stop torpedoing you. What you, do you okay, want? Right, so huh. are we, when we face a Qibla, right? If you're facing a Qibla, hmm. picture it in this way. You're facing something with your physical body. I didn't, it's, it's a ritual. 
But when you turn and you face the right, no, no, no. When you turn into the right Qibla, when you face the right Qibla, which is the, the Qibla of Allah, when you face Allah, Allah says the east and the west is mine. It, I, I, not word for word, but when he says turn to the east and the west, and the, there is Allah. That's, that's what they are, No, what I'm saying is that, uh, yes, but he doesn't prove his point either. Uh, no, He's no. using conjecture okay. to try and disprove what I'm saying, but he doesn't prove your okay, point Okay, uh, you, you are the, so we are you're the expert in, 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 I'm talking to the experts who read the Quran four times, yeah? I, let's, let, let's me just no, no, you can't can, say that, bro. Bro, bro, you're the, you're the expert. God's law. Brother, brother, brother. This is what I follow. Okay, you follow God's law, so educate me. So if you me. want to add to God's educate law, educate me. I'm, I'm, ignorant, I'm an ignorant person who adds, right? I want you to yeah. educate me. Now here, Allah is saying, there is a previous command to the Qibla. Can you please inform me, what is Allah talking about there? I don't know. You don't know? No. So how can we know? How can you know? Is the Quran, you said, <coughs> is the Quran clear? You, is the Quran clear? tell me. Is the Quran clear? The Quran is Does Allah say it's clear? But just as you open a physics book to a year, year seven child, he does not understand physics. He has to sit and study. When you sit and study the book, Allah will gift you with knowledge. But you he studied. You, you sat and you studied. Brother, you sat and studied four times the Quran, man. That's what I'm asking you. Yes, and do you think that's you got, enough? You got the wisdom. So can you tell enough? me the wisdom? That's nowhere near enough. Huh? Four times is nowhere near enough. So it's not enough? No, of course So not. let's give you another verse. Maybe, maybe you had some wisdom there. Go to chapter three, verse one to four. Go, go, go. Chapter three, one to four. There's many holes now, but this is the first hole. Let's go. You know that didn't prove anything you said. Either. Sure, sure. To you, I'm sure. To it you. It did not prove to your anything. understanding. These to your understanding. Are not my I'm supporters. Sure. These support your argument. Sure. So sure. therefore, your. your I don't know them, but they just happen to support me. This but okay. Is a bias. Sure. Talk. But anyway. So let's go to chapter not, three. Let's go to chapter three. First what? One, two, four. Ah, uh -huh. what does Allah say there? When you, said, yes, right, yes. So when you said to the believers, mm -hmm. is it not enough for you that mm -hmm. your Lord has reinforced you with 3,000 angels sent down? Now, the right. Prophet here, this is an past. Allah is saying, when you said to the believers that Allah is going to enforce you, he's talking about the battle there. Allah is going to enforce you with 3,000 angels. My question is, where did Allah tell the Prophet in the Quran that he's going to enforce him with 3,000 angels? Or did the Prophet made up, made up this kind of story that there is Allah enforcing you with 3,000 angels? Where did the Prophet get this information from? Yeah. Where did Allah... Where did the where Prophet, did the prophet know? Where did the right. Prophet know? Right. Where did he get this information that Allah have supported the believers or 3,000 angels? Where did he get this information? Yes, which he was telling the this, people. This was, this was uh, given to him. This was gifted to him. Where is not in the Quran? Oh, you don't believe there's other revelation? Hold on, hold on, hold on. How was the Quran given to Prophet Muhammad? Wahid. Through Angel How, Gabriel. Right. Through Angel so then, Gabriel. So this is his... Look, the things that were given to Prophet Muhammad to give to us, as in humanity... Which is what? Is, other than the Qur'an. So you believe there is other revelation no, now? No, I'm saying the Qur'an. The Qur'an that was given to the So Quran. where is the command of 3,000 angels in the Qur'an? Where did Allah tell the Prophet, I'm going to give you 3,000 angels? No, no, he's saying, where did Allah tell him in the past tense, you're going to get 3,000 angels. So he know that, so he went to the believers and he told them. Now, where, no, where, no, where, where, where did the Prophet know? This is a simple question, my brother. How did the Prophet know that Allah have supported us with 3,000 angels in the battle. How did he know? Again, like I said, I've read, I, I read Did he make it up? Did I he make it up? But it does not, this does not prove your point either. Leave my point now. Answer yeah, the question. What, what Answer to, the question. What you're trying to say. Do you believe? Okay, guys. What is trying now to say Now you're going to talk to them, yeah? Okay, because okay. you're obviously in front of them. You're the one with the microphone. I'm not looking at them. I'm looking at you. Microphones. I'm looking at you. I don't have any now, microphones on right now, my brother. You want one? I'll give you. You're very heavy. I'll give you. I didn't come for this. I don't need microphones, man. You came for this. This is you're prepared with your stands and stuff. Anyway. I just was booking your bye, man. Stay for 30 minutes. I'm going. Why are you being prepared? What you're trying to show others is if you follow. Do I know the unseen? I know I'm going to meet a Quran. You're going to speak to a Quran. What? Prepare to what, man? You, you want to kind of picture somebody who follows Quran, a family follows the books that Allah has revealed, is actually on the wrong path. That's what you're trying to But say. you don't follow the Quran. You, I, how can I not follow the Quran? Because the, Qur the, Quran, saying, the, Quran, the Quran, as I just said, yeah. demonstrates clearly that there is another revelation other than it, and it commands you to follow it, which is the hikmah. Now, let me ask you, now let, let's, let's go to another topic now, because yeah. there's a, vari a variety yes, of topics. Yes, but it does not say the, the hikmah is the hadith or the sunnah of Muhammad. Just, it does not say it. It doesn't matter. Let's, so, let's just, neither of our points Can I explain answered. something first? Do you, you believe... See, you keep jumping from No, no, about the hikmah. Let's forget this, We're there's a hole. Let's do this because... So, where do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about? Where did, you, where, where did we leave? I don't know. You came into this conversation. I was talking to my brother. So, you're not happy me got moving. And in the same no. time, you're happy me moving. You keep jumping. Is it my conversation or your conversation? There are certain bits of knowledge that okay. belongs to Allah. Brother, it's not with me. Brother, it's you, not with you. Uh, you told me how am I not following the Quran? That was your question to me, correct? I said to you, I'm going to demonstrate to you the hikmah. 
Now you're saying I'm running away from the topic. No, we're, just, we're talking. Let's talk about the hikmah now. You said the hikmah is not the hadith. That was your claim. Yeah? Now I'm asking you a question now. Is the hikmah the following things? A, when we say hikmah, are we talking about wisdom or are we talking about teachings? Which one? We're talking, Allah uses the word hikmah in the Quran. That's what I'm talking about. And how is that translated? I'm, I'm, Again, my Arabic is not good. I can translate that. Well. What, I'm, what I'm talking about right now is me and you, we're trying to understand what the hikmah is. So that's what we're trying to do now. I'm claiming it's a hadith. You're claiming it's something else. No, but so, what does the word say? With the verse of brother. Hikmah in the Arabic language. What does it mean? Does it mean hikmah, wisdom, hikmah, 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 right, hikmah, wisdom, hikmah, wisdom, hikmah, thank you. hikmah in the Arabic language. Come on, we have to go with this translation because the world is... You want me to answer? We, you want me to answer? You're talking to them or you're talking to me? No, the world I'm answering you. You want me to answer you? The world, you want me to answer you? Let's go with it. Okay, I'm answering you, but you're looking here and there. Talk to me, yeah? yeah? Hikmah can, can come from two roots. Yeah. Yeah, hukmu ihkam. Can mean that something is done perfectly, done mill way, well made, sorry, done perfectly. Right. Or it can mean wisdom as well. Or judgment or ruling. That's why all of these are meaning of hikmah. Now here... We're trying to understand which one of these meanings, what is the hikmah that Allah is talking about? Okay, so let's, let me ask you three questions now. Is the hikmah, talking about the hikmah now, is the hikmah something which is revealed, coming down from, uh, from Allah, revelation, other than the Quran? Because I'm claiming now that there is a revelation other than the Quran. Is the hikmah a separate revelation from the Quran? Is the hikmah something which is being taught? to the people. It's a revelation coming down and it's being taught. Is this one question or are these three, three seconds? It's one question about the hikmah. Right, okay. I want to see if the hikmah has these characteristics or not. I'm asking you, do you believe that? So the first one was, is this divine revelation? Is that what you said? Yes. Do you, be one. do you believe the hikmah is a divine revelation other than the Quran? Look, it's a very clear. Other than the Quran. Other, no, very clear. No. Okay. No, step by step. Do you believe no, the hikmah? I, we have to go you can answer yeah. me. I'll let you answer once I make my question, man. Okay. Do you believe the hikmah is another revelation other than the Quran? Number one, first characteristics. Number two is being taught. And, and number three is something which is being said, something which you talk, you say. Okay, you're saying, it's, not, it's not just right. a, a movement or that, so that it's a speech. You're asking me what I believe. I'm asking you, do you believe right. these three things are the hikmah or not? You're, you're asking me what I believe. Yes, and I as, as a, someone honest, who read the Quran four times. I honestly, okay, you see you're coming back to these little I'm asking, points I'm, I because you know. like to... No, I found it interesting, but go ahead. Yes. But why is that bad? You see, again, you're trying no, to make I it found like it interesting, it's a bad but go ahead. Thing. Just go ahead. Why no, is that a bad thing no, to I, read the Quran four times? Why is it so negative? It's not a bad thing. You're showing it's a good it as thing. negative. It's a good thing. Okay, okay so why are you not saying it in a so, so, positive way? I'm saying it a positive way. No, you're saying it I'm saying, I'm saying, I'll tell you why I'm saying it a positive way. The hole in the ground and the four times, oh, I'm a professor. Can I tell you why I'm saying it? I am, I, like everybody here, like everybody, let me speak. Let me speak. You ask me a question, let me speak. I believe we are all going to be judged by the same God. Okay. Okay. And everything that is being told to us, mm. if you don't do it, you're going to have to answer why you don't do it. Now, okay. if you personally, right now, in your heart, believe that you are following the hadith or the sunnah and you are on the right path, then Allah is forgiving and merciful. He will understand because you believe it. But if I'm telling you right now, the hikmah, first thing you said, what is hikmah? What is it? Right? Is it something other than the Quran? No. I didn't say it that. Cannot be. No, the first question said, is it, is it something other than the Quran? Is that revelation other than the Quran? Right, be clear. Other, my question is very right, clear. Okay. That's why I said we start doing multiple points. We do one by one. So you say no. Right. It, it, Leave them. Stay with me. It's, it's no problem. Leave me. Is, you're saying, is it divine revelation other than the Quran? No. Yeah. The hikmah or the wisdom is granted or gifted by Allah. In my, my belief, yeah, don't, don't quote, I'm not quoting the Quran. My belief is that if you are on the right path, Allah will grant you understanding of the verses. Like you just mentioned to me, where does it talk about angels? Where does it talk about the Qibla being? Okay, this, these are valid questions. And we as a community have to follow these questions. No, we have an answer, Allah you don't. We, we do have an answer. Already. Okay, you stick with your answer. As in, if you believe, for example, this is something that happened 3,000, uh, sorry, 1,000, so, 1,500 years ago. So, that's fine. You stick with those past events. So your answer is no. But this is something current. How am I supposed to use that as my current life? How is that supposed to help me? So your answer is no. no the hikmah is not a revelation I, I, other than the Quran. I don't believe it's other than the Quran. Okay, because okay. then you're putting something next to the Quran. Sure. This no is problem. you're putting a partner. No to problem. The word no problem. Of God, and this is sure. No problem. No problem, my brother. I like your new teacher, Sabah Sheikh. That's very important. Well, let's come back to the point. Now, Allah Azza wa says in the Quran, wa anzala alayka. Allah sent down the Quran, right? When Allah uses the word anzala, it means there's a revelation coming from, from Allah to the Prophet Muhammad. Right or wrong? Okay. Well, do you agree or you disagree? Again, my Arabic is not great. So you, you could when be Allah, testing me right. No, I'm telling you in the English. The you might be between me. Oh, I don't know. I'm speaking I'm in English. Okay. English. I'm saying when Allah right. said, we send down upon you the book. What is Allah referring to? Quran. A revelation of the Quran that was sent down from Allah, from Angel Gabriel to but the Prophet. But if he's talking about the children of Israel, it could be... No, no, I'm talking about the Quran there. Right, okay. So let's be specific, like you're saying. Let's like talk about the Quran. When it says, we send down on you the book. Right. Allah is referring, send down, he means revelation that was sent down from Allah to Prophet Muhammad as a, as a form of a book, which is the Quran. Correct right. or wrong? Yeah. Correct. Yes. Okay. So when Allah Azza wa Jal, he says, he sent down the hikmah, 
How do you understand that? So he said the same word by word he sent down the hikmah. I'll give you the, the exact... Right. Is there a collection of books called hikmah? Do you have the Quran with you? Is there a Chapter collection? 4 of the Quran? No, no, no. Is there a collection you of books called the, Quran. the hikmah? Just go to no, the Quran. No, no, no. There Let's are collections go to the Quran. of books called hadith which are narrations, My, not hikmah. But this, there are I'll explain to you. Sunnah, you don't know this point. I'll explain it to you. Again. We don't believe the hikmah is the books of hadith. We don't believe that. So okay. you're, you're misunderstanding right, our okay. position. So what's hikmah we believe the hikmah is the teaching that our Prophet was teaching. The books of hadith are recording that teaching. So you're making a, a straw man argument there. But let's come back to our point. Now, can you go back to chapter 4, verse 113? Back to it. Did we look at this before? We look at it now. I looked at it before. I like to go back. 113? Yes. But you said you read the Quran four times, so you're going back to it. Right? No, I we said it uh, let's go back. I need to go soon, by the way. So, so, so I need to go soon. I'm, uh, yani, uh, Were it not unfortunately, for God's I need to go soon. Towards you and His mercy, a group of them would have misled you. Uh -huh. They misled only themselves, and they cannot harm you. Can you raise your voice? Because I'm sorry, they're they're screaming a lot. I can't hear you. Were it not for God's grace towards you and His mercy, a group of them would have misled you, but they misled only themselves and they cannot harm you in any way. God revealed to you the scripture and wisdom, ah. and He taught you ah. what you never knew. Uh -huh. God's favor upon you is great. Now, He taught you what you never knew. So before you not start, somebody else. Before you, uh, oh, I agree. Okay. Thank you very much. Let's shake hands with that. Allah told the Prophet what he didn't know. Now, let's talk about what we disagree on. Now, we agree on. Yeah? Now, I'm saying to you, Allah Azza is saying, He revealed to you the scripture. You believe? The Quran, Allah Azza revealed the scripture, the Quran to the Prophet. And Allah Anzala sent down, revealed to you the hikmah. You claim the hikmah was not a revelation. Allah Azza wa is clearly here saying he revealed to you the hikmah is a revelation that he sent down. You're saying this is inside Allah is saying Allah sent down to you the yeah, Quran. No, 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 hold on. You're brother, outside brother, Quran. brother. It's not outside, it's inside. It's okay. okay. When no, I no, 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 he said something different. He was trying to. Are you good? Let me, let me just. He, he was me. trying to trap me with the argument. No, the it's argument is there, the but you don't see it. I'm going to show it to you now. You're saying. Hold on. Hold I'm saying it's outside hold the Quran. On, yes, it's down. correct. Calm down. I'm calm. I'm very calm. calm. But let's deal with you the topic. Yeah? Told, again, you're trying to trap people with these questions. Your question no, I'm only was, trying to trap you, not the you other people. You said, is the hikmah revelation outside of the Quran? No, uh, no, no. I'm saying it is. I'm giving you evidence now. No, but you now. asked me a question. Do I believe and the you said no. is the revelation outside? And you said no. And I said no. And I was right. Why? Because this says it's inside the Quran. This Where? The Where does Quran. it say that? Does it not say that? The, well, didn't you just, well, are you well, not well, using this verse? As no, I think you can't read maybe, but read again. Well, wait, wait, read again. Maybe he doesn't know when you have God a conjecture. Conjecture, what does it mean between two objects when you were you talking about them? He thinks it's the same object. God revealed to you the scripture. You said your name is? You said your name is? Dawan. I will, can I say Dawan and Dawan went with me and I'm talking about the same person? Dawan and Dawan went with me and I'm talking about the same person. Is that linguistically valid? No, but wisdom means. Let me just answer the question I'm asking. If I say to me, Dawan, I had a conversation means... with Dawan and Dawan, and I'm talking about no, no, no. the same person. Yeah, but if I, if I give you a formula, that's the formula. If I give you an understanding or the wisdom of the formula, that means you understand the formula. Leave the formula now, put the formula. No, no, no the... don't put it away because and, that answers and, and your question. It doesn't answer my question. It does. Huh? No, he doesn't know the Quran. Clearly. Yeah, no, no, clearly, no, clearly, clearly no. Go ahead, go ahead. Clearly no. He asked me. I have no my idea. opinion is my opinion. I have no idea. It's my opinion. Right? It's my opinion. It's my opinion. The guy, yeah? It's my opinion. Come on. If there can I have an opinion or no? no? no, no. Hold on. I, I need, can have an opinion. I need so to it's say something, right? Yes. You need to understand. If there is, I'm trying to use an example because again, you might not be understanding this, right? If there is a formula, a really hard maths formula, that is the formula. So what's the wisdom to understand that formula? It's the understanding of it. Are you done? Right? You're saying it's Allah a formula. Allah will give you the understanding of it. I want you to finish your point. Your point is, right. it's a formula, Allah will give you the understanding no, of it. The, what I'm Correct? trying to say is, it's not outside of the Quran. It is part of the Quran sure. itself. Sure, okay, no if problem. You, uh, the more you read it, it's part of cycles. They will come to you in sure. stages. Sure, I understand you Allah believe that. Them. I understand you believe that. When you read right. the Quran, Allah, Allah will show you the, the wisdom, yeah? Right. But here, it's not, uh, no, 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 he, he doesn't understand why, why, why he's talking about why, because the verse here is not talking to you, my friend. He's talking to the Prophet. And it wasn't for Allah's favor on you. Allah taught you. Allah's not talking to you, my friend. Allah is talking to the Prophet there. So when Allah said he revealed, you didn't have the Quran revealed on you, Allah is talking to the Prophet. Here Allah is saying to the Prophet, not you, my friend, who you see the cycle and equations and I don't know what you see when you read the Quran. Allah is talking to the but Prophet. You are the same man as the Prophet. I'm not saying this Quran was talking to me. Are you the Prophet now? I'm not saying, I'm, I just told so, you, I'm so not saying. So let's talk about the Prophet now. I just told you, I'm Can not we talk saying, about so the Prophet? Not make that sure. assumption. Let's talk about the Prophet. Right. Allah is saying to the Prophet, He revealed to the Prophet the Quran, the book. Right. And he revealed to the Prophet and 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 something else, which right. is the wisdom. So there is another revelation according to the Quran, right. other than the Quran, called wisdom. 
So that's and the, the, the point. Word, the Arabic word is hikmah? Hikmah, yes. Right. Hikmah. I'm using English for right. you. So I'm using I English for you. Why didn't you say yes? So why, why go down this huge rabbit hole? No, I was I asking you, you why you believe. I was asking you why you no, believe. No, I, I asked you earlier, what does hikmah mean? And you're saying, I answered. let's explore this. No, I answered. You're saying, I, answered. I answered. You didn't say that, brother. It's some video, it's some video where I answered and it says it comes from two roots, hikam and hukm. And then I explained what these two roots are. I don't know you were somewhere else when I explaining that or not, but I was explaining here, yeah? So I clearly explained what hikmah is. Let's not run away from the topic again. Yeah. Here, there is something other than the Quran called the hikmah that Allah Azza wa has revealed as revelation to the Prophet Muhammad Alayhi Wasallam. Where is that hikmah that the Prophet received other than the Quran? Not you, not me, no one else. Allah is saying to you, O Prophet, we reveal to you the hikmah. Not only that, Allah said to the Prophet, he is going to teach us the hikmah. وَيُعَلِّمُكُمُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحِكْمَةِ He teaches you the kitab and he teaches you the hikmah. So Allah revealed it to him. Yeah. The Prophet was teaching it to us. And it's something which is being mentioned as well. In chapter 33 of the Quran, Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَذْكُرْنَ مَا يُتْلَى فِي بُيُوتُكِنَّ مِنْ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ وَالْحُكْمَةِ So the hikmah is something that is being recited. So we have something being recited. Revelation from Allah Azza wa Jal. Other than the Quran and the Prophet was teaching it. If that's not clear evidence that Allah Azza wa Jal has revealed the hadith, which is what the Prophet okay. was teaching, yeah. is explaining to the people. And the, the people, the companions, the, the people who came later on recorded the statements of the Prophet, I don't know what's, what's clear. Okay. If it's not clear when Allah said this. See how I'm giving you time. Just you want to say something? No, no, I'm, I'll just, I'm giving if you, you want. time. I'm being respectful. But I give you time as well. When I speak, you make these comments. Sure, sure, these go ahead. Comments. Go ahead. Go ahead. And I'm giving you time. I want you to let's, say let's wrap up. Let's wrap up. I'll, I'll, I'm wrapping up right now. Let's see what. Uh, what. This is my conclusion now, which is this is. Supported by the evidence, okay. Quranic Based verses which I'm said. bringing. Based on what you just not said. my opinion, not my uh, my understanding of things. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Based on what you said, there is no direct evidence to say that the hikmah, which is outside what you're saying, outside of the Quran. So the Quran was revealed, then Quran Allah sent the hikmah. There is no evidence to say that the Hadith and the Sunnah is the hikmah. We you want are an assuming that. Do you want an answer? We are assuming that there is. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. We can know that the, that the hadith is the hikmah from, from what? Because the hadith is the statements and the teachings of the Prophet ﷺ. And Allah is saying the hikmah is what the Prophet is going to teach you. So if I have the yes, teachings... Yes, but this is assumption. Brother, you know, you are interrupting me. I'll let you oh, finish your point. Yeah? Okay. If you want interruption, I can easily let you speak. I don't mind. Now, I'm saying... You said to me, what is the evidence is the hadith? I'm giving you the evidence. Allah said the Prophet is going to teach it. We have the teaching of the Prophet. Therefore, the hadith is the hikmah because the hadith is the teaching of the Prophet. Hadith is not a made up signs that someone made, but it's the teachings of the Prophet Therefore, it's clear cut evidence that the hadith is the other revelation that Allah is, is talking about here. Clear cut evidence means the words yes, this from one. Allah. This one. Yeah, yeah, this Allah one. Chapter 4, 113. No, no, no. That means hik that separates the Quran and the hikmah. And also, a Quran says, Quran also says it's being taught. It's the teaching of the Prophet. Right. Okay. Quran also says it's something which is being Who mentioned. Teaches it? It's the statements. Prophet? The Prophet, yes. No, Allah teaches you. You just said that. Bro, Prophet let me give you the evidence. No, you want you want to see the Prophet teaching you? No, no, but let's stick to that. I'm word. saying don't the Prophet the teaching you. Don't change the Prophet. The prophet. No, the Prophet You're teaching you. You're going to change you. the verse now. Watch him change the verse. No, you said to me. Don't change the verse. Let's not change the verse. Let's talk about the verse. What did it say? And he taught you what you never knew. What? The yes. Prophet? Allah, Allah taught the Prophet. Allah taught the Prophet. Right. Okay. So. Yes. He taught him the Quran and taught him the Hikmah. Then the Prophet taught us the Hikmah. What is the problem? Bro, look, I, well, I, look, I know you know inside of you, you know in your heart, right. this doesn't make any no, sense. No, I, I don't just think, have just, all yes. the knowledge, okay. but what I do know that's a, that's a humble position. It's a humble position. I respect that. Right look, I respect it's to say, right I respect to you say, I don't know. You saying, I don't know, that's fine. That's a respectful position yeah. to have. Now, I'm here teaching you. If you're rejecting the information I'm giving you, the explanations I'm giving you, the evidences I'm giving you, then you should have a valid reason. You can say, I don't know, it's okay. When I go to an, an agnostic person, he says to me, I don't know God exists. That's fine, as a beginning position. But when I start giving you evidence demonstrating that the Creator exists, and you reject it, then it's no longer a position of ignorance, it's a position of rejection, it's juhud. No, but what you I'm know, trying to say is the hikmah is uh, not the hadith. Just, the hikmah is not the hadith. He never said that. Yeah, but Bro, that's what you're saying. I we said the hikmah, I agree with you. I, agree, I say the hikmah, I, I, I know, I said the hikmah. The hikmah the what did I say the hikmah was? Can I ask just a simple question? I need to go anyways, I have a class to give, man. I don't have time. Yeah, yes. Do you know a little bit of Arabic? Yeah. A little bit. If you say in Arabic, what is the role of court of justice? Right. In Arabic. Right. The court of justice, how we call it? I don't know. In I, Arabic, I, I, how we call it? The court of justice, how we call it? Mahkamah. Mahkamah al Adliya. Mahkamah al Adliya. Right. Okay. Hikam. This is a separate thing than the Quran. 
right? But link it, evidence. Give yeah, me the evidence that it says the hadith I, 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 is that. If you can show me the evidence that hadith is that, I will follow it. No, but my brother, like I said, I'm can not I tell you what we did? I can I tell you what we demonstrated so far? What we demonstrated so far is that right. there is a separate revelation other than the Quran called the Hikmah. Now you're now you're questioning what is the Hikmah. In the beginning you said there is no other revelation other than the Quran. Like I said, I'm not perfect. Okay, sure, I'm telling you. No, I'm no problem. I'm learning everything with it. Allah okay. reveals what he revealed. I agree with you, no issues, no problem. Right. Now we're saying Allah Azza wa Jal here, Allah Azza wa Jal here mentioned that the Hikmah is a revelation. Correct? Yes. Allah Azza wa Jal, did he say in the Quran he's going to predict his revelation or not? Yes. Okay, yeah. so if the hikmah is a revelation, that means Allah is going to protect the revelation. Me and you will see the revelation of the hikmah like we see the revelation of the Quran. Only thing we have today which is present, representative of the hikmah is the hadith which is the teaching of the Prophet because we know the hikmah is the teaching of the Prophet. Now if Allah protects his revelation, then we will see it just like he protected the Quran, he's going to protect the hadith. Based on that, we believe that the hadith is yeah. The, the sunnah and the hikmah that we that we should follow. Again, that, that me and you should follow. I'm. Yeah. The, the, another evidence. But you're making. Hold on. Before we jump to that. No, no. We're not going to jump. You, I'm going to talk about the hadith. The Do you know that there is you're weak hadith or not? You're Do you making, know there is weak hadith or not? You're making the assumption that that hikmah is the prophet. No, the, the I'm the not. Prophet, which is I'm the hadith. not. I'm not. But, but brother, what is, what is what is that? Which? No, no, no. Hold on. Bukhari and, and Sahih Muslim, which is supposed. I didn't speak about them. I didn't speak about them. I have not studied the sides of hadith. I don't know. But what I know is. No, he's. By the way, he's doing this on purpose. You get the point. He's, you, you might not get this point, but he's doing it on, pur on purpose. Hold on, Look, what, what am I doing on purpose? You're avoiding the point. What point? I'm addressing Can I explain point. the point? Can I explain the point? What is hadith? Sorry? What is hadith? A, a, a narration. Like a saying. No. What speech? What is hadith? Let's just ignore what the people are doing. What is hadith? It's a saying. It's a, it's a, it's a narration or some sort of speech. It's what is it? What is it? The Quran is a... Is so, a so your speech is hadith? No, no, no. The Quran, for example, is a hadith. It's a teaching or some sort of... My brother, when I say no, hadith that we believe in, right. that you're saying is not the hikmah, I'm asking you about now. Yes. Hadith that we believe in, what is it? The one that you think is outside of the, the Quran. The one we believe in. The one, one, one Ahl Sunnah of... believe in, why is it? Let me be clear of what you're saying. Are you saying the hadith outside of the Quran? My brother, do you know we believe in hadith, you don't believe in. There's hadith we, be, we believe in, you don't believe in, correct? Not all of it. The ones you don't believe in, I'm talking right. about. Okay. What is it? The ones that are not that contradict. What do we call hadith? What do we call hadith? When I say what hadith, do call, I don't know. What do you okay, let me explain to you. Maybe right. this is the issue now. Right. What we call hadith right. is the saying, the statements of the Prophet ﷺ, right. his actions, what he did. I said and so. why, you said no. My brother, said, you, you you're, said sayings. You didn't say the Prophet saying. You said sayings. I said sayings. You said sayings. I said these things and you're ignoring. And my brother, you said sayings, I agree. You didn't say the Prophet sayings. That's why I said, is it your sayings? You said the Quran. I'm talking about the Prophet saying. What we mean by hadith, we're not referring to the Quran. Quran is not the Prophet's words. That's why you're misunderstanding. It's not just any sayings, it's the prophetic sayings. We are saying this, the hadith is the prophetic sayings, teachings, the actions that he did and he taught us to do, and what he agreed upon when the people were doing, he said, that's fine, you can do this, right? Iqrarat. That which is authentic, well, that we have of a chain of narration, People narrated it, they were trustworthy, they were honest. We have a chain of narration going back to the Prophet Wasallam. Uninterrupted chain. That's what we call what hadith. About him? Just no, what me, about before him? Just allow me to finish the point and then we but, can talk but, before no, him. No, no, now you're digressing again, my brother. No, no, no. Do you see my point? You're when I say to him, you're doing it on... You're going on, back to the Prophet. What about before the Prophet? Abraham was I'll, the original. I'll answer when I'm done. I'll answer when I'm done. How was Ibrahim a Muslim? Do you want me to answer? How was Ibrahim a Muslim? Do you want me to answer? Answer that. Once I finish my statement. The hadith is right. the teachings of the Prophet Alaihi Wasallam, he says. Yeah. Now, what, what did we just demonstrate now the hikmah was? You demonstrated that you From the Quran. No, 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 no. From the Quran. Right. So from the Quran, it says that there is the divine revelation. That the, it's a divine revelation. Right. And it's being taught. Right. By God. No, by the Prophet. Allah says, Why you The Prophet is going to teach you. So I'm saying the Prophet will teach us. So it's something that is going to be taught by the Prophet. It's divine revelation and it's statements and teachings. Now, if you say the hikmah, statements and teachings and divine revelation that went on the Prophet ﷺ that he was explaining, and the hadith, statements and teachings, divine revelation that the Prophet ﷺ said, what is the assumption? Because it's different, it's not precise, it's not, you're not being specific. Okay, and now I'll be honest with you, you're not being sincere, honestly. No, it's so not I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll leave you, you here. I'll tell you why I leave you here. I'll leave you here, I'll, I'll let the people decide. Again, same, I'll let, other people run away I'll leave the well. people. You can run away. I'll, I'll, it's, it's yeah, choice. I know, now you're trying to score one point, he's running away and this and that. It's no, not going to help you. If, if, it's not going to help you, man. It's not going to help you. two hours ago, It's not going to help you, it's not going to help you. If anybody was here two hours ago, you'll see Did you say it was late or not? Sorry? Did you say yes? I do need to Okay, so who's running then? Okay, so let's let's not. Try to play these games that are scoring one point I'm before you go. I'm staying here right now. Okay, You're the sure, one saying that sure. you want to finish up. 
Yes, I do want to finish up because we've been talking right. for one hour. There's no point. There is nothing and you're running away around yourself, you know, so there's no point. Quran, Torah, Zabur, maybe with the Injil because of whatever they've and done hadith. with the Roman. And Hadith. Sorry? And Hadith. If Hadith is extra and is outside of the Quran and it contradicts Quran, you will you will be committing no something no bad. There is a lot, my brother. There is wait, a lot. Loads of apostles. Wait, 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 wait. wait, they wait, have, they have, wait there is no wait. in the You know, he has, he has, he has a, an alternative reason why he doesn't believe in the Quran. And I know 100% in the hadith and it's 100 percent is going to be something to do with desires something he wants to do he likes to hear music he likes to drink alcohol he likes to do something that he does not want no, the hadith incorrect. i'm not I'm talking to them you're not making you. an assumption about me yes i am i am I this am. is wrong so that there's a reason many this people why they're so it's not an intellectual you, position now you need to ask me okay. if that's the case don't make do you want to wrap up do you want to wrap up let's wrap up okay let's wrap up let's because wrap up. you don't say running and you, you try these uh, silly games now let's say now you saying following the other scriptures, yeah? Are the other scriptures corrupted according to the Quran or not? Scriptures of the no, Jews and the not, Christians. It's not specifically mentioned. According to the Jews and Christians. Yeah, but it's not specifically mentioned. It is, it it's is. a Zabur that is. Corrupted. Then you have read the Quran clearly. I think you need to read it for a fifth time now to see that it's, it's clear so, there. So it says, find me the verse that says the Zabur is corrupted. And talk find about the, the Zabur. That, right, I said, find the, me the, I said, the verse. Find me the verse that said the Zabur. Do you have the Zabur? I've read the Zabur. Mashallah, Which one? 150 Which one? Which one? The Zabur of the Psalms of Which, David. Who told you that's the Zabur? See, you are denying revelation now. Well, I'm asking you who told you. You're actually denying revelation. Oh, I am. I am denying the Psalms. You are, which, 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 you're denying the Psalms yeah, of David. No, the, this Psalms in the book, yes. Why are you now, denying it? Now you're asking me a question. Look, we believe as Muslims is right, uh, it's also than truth in the book, right? Now you're claiming the Psalms is the Zabur. Where is your evidence? Where does Allah say? That's, uh, that you, you want explicit evidence yeah, for me to which say you, that that's, that. that's why you're demanding right. from me. That's okay. why you're demanding from me. Great. Now you, is it, you're therefore, not happy with it? Okay, give me explicit evidence. Therefore, we are both floating. Wait, wait, just, uh, just give me one second. Uh. Rama, therefore, yes. we are both floating. None of us have evidence. Not really. You're the only one floating area. here. You you're the only one floating, evidence. bro. There you're the only no one evidence. drowning, clutching to straw. There I'm just taking your last straw, which is the other scriptures. For the science of hadith. You can follow it if you want. There is no evidence. Okay. There is none. Do you know when you say something and you don't support it with evidence, People are not going to be you're convinced. Not gonna, you're not accepting so, it. You keep jumping. People are not going to be convinced by you just repeating. I'm not trying to convince repeat, anyone. Repeat. I'm here talking. Ah, okay. And you guys came Did I say you're trying I'm, to convince anyone? I'm not here. I'm not. A, I don't have a channel. Yeah, it's anything. time to go. I, it's, you have 100 percent is worthless. I'm Anyways, talking. Let's finish on a, on a positive note. Is a positive. Whole, note. Why do you want to do positive with somebody who's 100 percent worthless? Because uh, I like to have positive discussions. No, 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 that's they're, why. They're, you're very clever with your words. That's you don't want to. You don't want to finish on a positive note. Clever with your words. You want a negative note. Sorry. You don't want to finish. You do whatever you want. We are all. I want to finish on a positive. Note. We're all going to be judged by so I want to finish on a positive note. Okay, right, finish let's finish on a positive note then. Okay. My positive note, note is this. I'm inviting you to follow the guidance of the Prophet And the best of guidance is the guidance of the Prophet I'm, I'm inviting you to follow what the Quran says in chapter 16 verse 43 where Allah says that the Prophet is going to make clear to us the Quran. is going to clarify through the revelation which is the hikmah. I'm inviting you my brother to follow that Follow the Quran because nothing is going to help you on the day of judgment other than doing that. Allah Azza wa Jalla says in the Quran, وَيَوْمَ يُنَادِيكُمْ And the day when He calls you on the day of judgment. مَاذَا أَجَبْتُمِ الْمُرْسَلِينَ What did you respond to the messengers? Allah is going to call on the day of judgment and He's going to say, you let me finish my positive note? You let me finish my positive note? And then I'll let you speak. I'll let you speak. Allah Azza wa Jalla is saying on the day of judgment, He's going to question you about the prophets. What did you respond to the prophets? He's not going to question you about anything else. Allah Azza wa Jalla is saying in the Quran that the prophet makes halal and makes haram. The prophet is making halal and haram according to Allah. Chapter 7 of the Quran verse 157. I'll give you references. Allah is saying the prophet is making halal and haram. And Allah is saying you have to obey him and he was questioning you on the day of judgment. But he cannot so my talk advice, of his own. He cannot talk of his my, own unless with I agree. Permission. I agree. Right, That's so why I'm the hadith is revelation. Allah. It's not from his own. Right. That's why Allah but told him have, why he didn't know. You have yes. no negative way of following the Do you want to? Let's finish there. Let's finish there. Nice talking to you. Let the people decide. Thank you for your time.